Can you really start dropshipping on eBay with no money at all? How much does it really cost to start an eBay dropshipping business? Hi, my name is Kfir and I'm a co-founder and the CEO of DSM Tool, a software company for eBay dropshipping. Today, I'll try to break down the costs, the actual costs that you're going to face if you are serious about starting an eBay dropshipping business. Now, I've seen on YouTube a lot of videos from a lot of people that are called that you can start dropshipping on eBay with zero or zero dollars, no money at all, um, no risk at all whatsoever. And technically speaking, what they're saying in those videos, technically speaking, is correct. You could potentially start it with no money at all. But if you're serious about your business, then you should at least prepare yourself uh, for, for some of the things that might happen. And PayPal might claim that you can't really start with no money at all. And I'll get to that. It's called PayPal gel. I'll get to that later in this video. So I'm going to share my screen. And I prepared a file where we're going to break down and do them all of the math. And I'll help you step by step to do the math of calculating how much does it really cost to get started. But before I'm jumping to share my screen again, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel. If you are serious about starting an eBay dropshipping business, then I hope that you will find this video and the other videos on this channel serious enough that are meant to educate you and help you getting started. So click the subscribe button and also, if you do like that video, it's going to compete with the rest of the videos, videos that you've just seen. So if you click on the like button or comment below what you have learned, one thing that you have learned, if you're planning, for example, to start dropshipping on eBay, if you think that these calculations are correct or am I missing something, comment it below and help promote a, a healthy and good discussion uh, on YouTube in that subject. But now let's jump to my screen and what I want to do is I want to go over with you all kind of expenses that you might expect when you're starting uh, the business. And I want to give you all of the options and all of the alternatives uh, that you might face. So I want to start with one time expenses. These are expenses that you are probably going to have to make and there is no chance that you will make it back. And the first expense that you might have to make and you might also not have to make and I'll show what is you'll have to learn. So you will have to maybe take some sort of a course, an online course. And there are different courses in different prices from learning for free to a course in $10 that might go up to $50, I'll show you in a second, to courses for $1,000. But I want to start with a completely free option because I want you to know that even here, that might be a zero. So, and I'm gonna change this number soon, when we'll talk about actually taking courses. So if you will sign up to DSM tool, go to dsmtool.com and sign up, then you will get an email. I'm also going to leave a link in the description below to the article that I'm going to show you. But the first email that you're going to get is going to be to the help center. And in there, you're going to find under the category of start dropshipping with DSM tool, a configuration checklist that takes you through the entire process. It takes about two to three hours to set up everything. And it takes you through the setup of eBay and PayPal accounts or the eBay managed payments, if you will not use PayPal, of setting up a DSM tool as your software. And I'll talk in a second about why do you need a software, but it takes you through that process. Uh, it helps you set up your eBay with the recommended settings that you need in order to use, you see, the uh, recommended settings for your eBay store if you want to use the dropshipping model, because you can customize eBay in different ways and it will help you to customize it for dropshipping with the explanations of why we set it up this way. Then you're going to need a website to source products from, and I'm going to recommend you on AliExpress. So how do you set up everything on eBay in order to fit that working with AliExpress? And in the end, how do you optimize your software? It's called DSM tool, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, and you're going to get two guides, the initial settings to set up AliExpress as the supplier there, and um, another guide about all of our extended features, uh, which is all of the features that will really enhance your performance when you're selling on eBay. Uh, so it's all free. You can go and read each one, like each one of those steps has a complete guide around it. Plus we, you have another guide, which is 7,000 
a 500 words guide long, like just check out how long it is. It really takes you through the entire process of dropshipping from getting started and setting things up uh, all the way to uh, processing orders and uh, finding finding what to sell, which is something that we're going to talk about. There is an entire manual free way to find how to fi uh, find products, winning products to sell in your store. And I'm explaining here step-by-step step how to do that. So with those guides, you could potentially start everything for free. You don't need any course, you don't need anything. And go ahead, I invite you to, you'll find links in the description below anyway. So go ahead and check it out and you can start learning by yourself. If you want to take it a step further, I'm also going to leave a link Ah, sorry, there, there are two ways. First, when you will sign up to DSM tool, you will be offered to also have the option to purchase a course that I'm giving, I'm giving that course. Um, and you will get it with a discount to the software. So, I mean, it's an awesome offer. And then you can have all of these studies by video. And I'm also going to leave in the description below, if you don't want to, to do it through the software, then you can also get my course on a platform that is called Entrepreneur Zone. Entrepreneur Zone is kind of like a library of a lot of courses, uh, like a Netflix of courses. So you can study their eBay dropshipping and Amazon dropshipping and Instagram marketing. And it currently costs $10 a month. I know that they want to increase the price, but currently it's only $10 a month. Uh, and I contributed my course to the library of Entrepreneur Zone. So uh, I'll link, I'll leave a link to the in the description below. If you only want to get a course uh, on Entrepreneur Zone and you also want to get other courses, then it's another option for you. But the point in terms of how much it costs you uh, is that $10 or let's say, let's say that they would raise it to $50, whatever. This is a cost that you're going to spend. And this is money that you will probably never see again if this eBay dropshipping business not working for you. So this is something that you have to take into account. That's part of the risk of starting an eBay dropshipping business. Um, and that pretty much covers everything that is a one-time expense. Now, after you make that one-time expense and you learn everything, now there are two different types of expenses that you are going to expect. One is fixed costs um, that are per month, that are month, monthly expenses that I'm gonna go over all of them right now with you. And the second thing is working capital, which is also known, uh, I'll also change the name here to, some people are referring to it as the PayPal jail or PayPal hold of funds. And I will explain it when we will get to it, but this is a different type of expense, which is not really an expense, it's We'll get to it. Let's start with things that are fixed uh, cost per month. The things that I need, think I recommend you to get is first a dropshipping software. And a dropshipping software is a software like DSM tool. And if I'll go to DSM tool to uh, the website and I'll click on pricing here. So it's dsmtool.com. You can, of course, sign up. I'll click on pricing. Then you will see that you can actually start for free and we have a free forever plan. You can forever from here until the end of life, use the free plan and drop ship and it will work. And you can, the, I'm, there are people that are using the, the free plan and that are drop shipping, at least in the beginning, uh, it helps them to, to get started. And then when you decide, which is fairly quickly because the free plan is limited. And anyway, in the first week of your DSM tool, uh, subscription, you are being upgraded for free to the basic plan. So you're going to have all of the features. And only after a week, you're being offered to either move to the free plan or uh, or subscribe and pay. And then you will have to start paying. So that's part of your costs. And most people choose to subscribe because the features are so awesome, the, the extra features that you're getting, that you will, pr I assume that you're going to do that. And I recommend to do that. And you know what? You can reduce the price to $19.97 per month, but I'm, if you take the annual plan, but let's say, let's take the higher price. And let's say that you take a monthly plan of $24.97. So I'm going to edit here. Uh, but I, I still didn't say, why do I think that you need a dropshipping software? Because you could potentially also work without a dropshipping software. And the reason that, I think that you should use dropshipping software is because if you are serious about your business, then investing $25 a month in order to get your product synced live and every time that a product goes out of stock, like what does the software do for you? It syncs the price and the stock of the items. So let's say that you're sending now 100, trying to sell on eBay, 100 items from AliExpress and on AliExpress, one of them goes out of stock. So if you're dropshipping manually, you would have to manually every single day go through each one of those products and make sure 
that they are synced to your eBay store. If you're using a software, then it's being synced automatically. Price changes are being synced automatically. But moreover, dropshipping software offers you a, a lister that is search uh, that is SEO optimized that will generate that will help you generate more sales. Features like automated messages. So after you make a sale, a message is being sent automatically to your buyer. Actually, four messages are being sent automatically to your buyer. One after you make the sale, one automatic positive feedback that you leave for them, one when the tracking number is available to uh, let them know that the package is on the way, and one couple of days after the, uh, after the, the sale, asking them, hey, how was the product? Will you leave me a positive feedback? So that's it. that is actually a positive feedback generator that works for free for you without you needing to do anything. And that's just one out of so many features. So like if you seriously want to become professional, you have to have a dropshipping software. So this is an expense that I would expect per month. This is the first expense. The second expense that is optional, but I'm also, I also think that it's that if you're serious, then already go and get it. I mean, if you're serious about the business, is a market research software. Now, I am giving you here a comp so uh, it's about twenty-five dollars. I'm not going to go over the market research uh, softwares at right now, but I will say that if you don't want to make that expense in the beginning, no problem. I mean, even DSM tool you get for free, as I said, with all of the features for the first seven days. So go ahead and, and test it. Feel free to test it. It's all free. And then use the, the from the article here or from my course, go to the section about how to find products for dropshipping. And I will take you step by step by uh, uh, according to the manual research um, uh, method. And you it will literally tell you what to click on and what exactly you need to do in order to uh, to find what to sell manually for free, no expense. So it could be zero here, right? With dropshipping software, it's a little bit more complicated. You have to have a dropshipping software because if prices changes or items go out of stock and then you sell them, either you're stuck with, uh, with sales that you can't fulfill because the item went out of stock, go figure. Go buy it for a higher price somewhere else, right? And you're losing on the deal. Or if the price changed, you're again losing on that deal. So you're actually losing money if you're making sales. So that's not even an option. Market research software, I recommend it, but we can say that to an extent it's optional as you're getting started. After a while, no chance, no, prof, no pro seller is not using a market research software. So that's another thing that you need to get, which is about another $25. And the last thing that you might need to get, but again, you might, you will probably not need in the beginning is an eBay store subscription. And an eBay store subscription, the reason that you at all need uh, to subscribe to, to eBay is because every time that you add a product to your store, what happens is that you have a limited amount of slots that you can uh, add products to your store for free. These are called zero insertion. Where is it? You will see it here. Yeah, fixed, uh, free fixed price listings. It's also known as zero insertion fee credits, no matter how it's called. What it means is that um, every month you can add to your store with, let's look at with the store subscription and let's say that you take the basic store subscription, you can add 30, 350 different, uh, 350 times per month, you can add a product to your store. Every time that you add a product to your store, even if you removed other products, it takes one credit and one credit. And after 350 times, uh, um, sorry, it's not under, after. I need to tell you first how much you get for free, and then you will see why you need the 350. So when you just open a store for the first time, you get 200 listings that you can add, 200 insertions or 200 free fixed price listings for free. And as a beginner, you really, really don't need to add to your store more than 200 times per month uh, a product. But Let's say that you're doing really, really well. And at some point you have added more than 200 times. Remember, it doesn't mean that you have more than 200 active listings in your store. It's a really, it's a little bit complicated system, but this is how eBay works, right? So it's not that you have 200 listings, active items in your store. It's that you added again and again products to your store. So if you added 100 and then you removed all of those 100 and you added another 100 products to your store at the same month, you used all of your credits. So 
let's say that for some reason as a beginner, which I don't see a reason why you would get to it in, the, you're in your first month, you got to more than 200 insertions per month, then you would want to subscribe to eBay to the uh, 350, at least to the basic store with 350 um, insertions per month. And that would cost you uh, $27.95. Now, again, other than the dropshipping software, these two are the market research software. We call it optional, although you will probably need it at some point. And the eBay store subscription, not in the beginning. So you will not need it in the beginning, but you will grow into it. And this is an expense that I think that you should at least take in account to some level. So if we're uh, summarizing this total amount, so I will mark all of this and you will see down here the sum, we have $77.92. But what I want to do is I want to see the three months plan, because I think that if you're starting a business, it's it makes sense to look at at least three months of your business, what are going to be your expenses? So I'm going to summarize the whole amount here of $77, uh, whatever it was, and multiply it by three, and get $233.76. So you have these expenses in the first three months that unless you cover them with your profits, which now I'll show you how much profits you need to make in order to cover all of that, unless you cover this money, this, uh, these expenses by making $233.76 profit in the first three months, you might be running a business that is not yet break even, that is not yet making you really money. So we, you have to understand that this is part of cost of building a business. And this might be an expense that you actually effectively have in the first couple of months or in the first three months at least. So um, if, once again, so what we want to do now is we want to ask, so how much do you need to sell in order to cover this $233.76, which will also lead us to what is working capital and PayPal jail. But let's start with how much do you need to make in sales? So let's assume that the profit, and we have to make some assumptions here. So I'm going to assume the profit margin um, in your store is going to be 10%. This is the fair enough profit margin for eBay dropshippers. Some of your products will do more, some of your products will do less, depends on what type of products you're selling. I'm not gonna talk about it right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and mathematically, if you divide it by 0.1, you get the amount that you need uh, to sell for in order to, uh, to make that profit if your profit margin is 10%. So you need to make $2,337 sales with a profit margin of 10% in order to cover what you made in those three months. Which if we um, look at e-commerce, then on average e-commerce um, selling price is typically 20 to $25. Let's go for the worst case. Let's say that $20 is your average uh, sale uh, per product. Then let's divide this number by 20 to see how many products you will have to sell. That's 116 products, um, which if we divide them in three, because we have three months, means that you will have to sell about 38 products per month. 38 times that you sell, if you sell the same products five times because it's a hot product, um, then, I mean, it doesn't mean that you need to sell 38 different products. You just need to make, on average, 38 sales per month. Is it feasible? I think that it's definitely feasible within three months to get to, to this amount. I think that a lot of dropshippers are doing it. Again, I, I don't want, I told you that I will be honest with you. So, so you have to take in account that if you will not make that amount, then you will not be able to cover all of your expenses. Maybe you will have to cover half of your expenses, 75% of your expenses, and, and some of it will still stay as an expense. On the fourth month, hopefully, you will already be more, more, more profitable, and then you will really cover all of your expenses, and your store will become profitable. And three months for a business to become profitable is such a short time in the business world. I think it's really, really worth it. Now, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to uh, first break down these, these sales for you to understand. When you make those sales, you have costs, what are the costs on those sales? So buying products on AliExpress, that would cost you money. 
Uh, eBay is taking fee for every sale that you make. It's called eBay selling fee. And there is something that is called PayPal fees. We already spoke about dropshipping software up here. The dropshipping software DSM tool will calculate those numbers for you automatically when you add new products to your store. So the prices are being calculated automatically with your profit margin. Another reason why you need a software in order not to do that work manually. Let me expand it here for a second. So the AliExpress, eBay, and PayPal fees um, are going to be, as we said, about 90% if you work with profit margin of um, 10%. They're going to be about 90%, so 0.9 times this amount, right? And your profit will be, as we said, 10%, so it's 0.1 times this amount. And you can see that it's exactly the $233.76. Now, if you will uh, manage to make less sales, um, then obviously your profit will go down and you already understood it. The last part about the expenses that I want you to understand is called PayPal jail. Or, or sorry, it's actually called working capital in real business world, but in, in eBay dropshipping, we call it PayPal jail or PayPal hold of funds. And the concept of PayPal hold of funds, let me Google it for a second to show you. Um, the concept of PayPal uh, hold of funds says that when you sign up to PayPal for the first time and you start making sales, um, what happens is that in the first 90 days of your business, uh, of your PayPal account and of from you starting to make sales, PayPal are typically holding, um, well, it doesn't say here exactly how much I think, but they typically hold 20% of the money that you made. So you made a sale for, let's say you sold the product for $10. They will keep $2 and they will keep it for 21 days. So for 21 days, you're going to have in your account only $8. But because you have 10% profit margin, you're going to need $9 in order to purchase the product. So there is $1 uh, that you're going to need to, um, to, to finance by yourself uh, in order to make all of the purchases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look at the amount of sales that you're going to have and say that PayPal hold of funds for your business is going to be... So they're going to hold... 20% of the amount that you made in sales, which is $467. But part of it is your profit because you're making part of what they're holding is your profit. And part of it is what you need in order to make the purchases and pay e and pay AliExpress, eBay, and PayPal their, their fees, their, the cost of products and their fees. So um, as we said, this is 20%, but the money that you need uh, is only half of that. So it's only actually 10% out of the total sales, assuming that your, uh, that your profit margin is really 10% on average. So we never really know. So this is why I'm keeping those two numbers, meaning that you're going to need to invest from your pocket at least $233.76. Funny that it happens to be the same number, but it's not because of this is your profit, it's because what you're going to need is you're going to need that money because PayPal is going to be holding this money the more sales that you make. So if you have this money to bring to put in from your pocket into your business, then although PayPal is holding the funds for 21 days, you have the money to make the purchases on AliExpress, to pay eBay their fees, to pay PayPal their fees. So because we, I don't want to make it a definite number, I would not say that you need $233. I would say that you need $233, between $233 to $467 in your pocket, available in credit card, in whatever, so that you would, would not get stuck because if you don't pay your eBay PayPal fees, then your account gets suspended, your account gets on hold until you pay it. And then you lose sales and then you lose traffic to your store. If you can't buy the products on AliExpress, you don't fulfill your orders on time and your account might get suspended. So you really need that money. This is why they call it PayPal jail because PayPal is holding your funds. And if you don't bring money from home, you can't release that money. But the good thing is that once you invested that money into your business, after 90 days, when the PayPal jail is over, when PayPal is stopped holding funds, all of the funds are released and you can get them back to your pocket. So effectively, 
you, this is not an expense. This is an investment into what is called working capital. You have capital that you put in your business and it's currently working for you. You will get it back, but it's working for you right now. So you don't have access to it. So this is why you need some credit when you're starting an eBay dropshipping business. So I think that to summarize, we talked about three types of expenses. We talked about studying, which is maybe taking a course. You can take my course. You can study for free. I showed you how. Look in the description below for the links. We talked about fixed costs, which are your monthly expenses on software and subscriptions and all of that to help you run your business professionally and help you really boost things up. I mean, you want to make $2,337. You want to make more than that in three months. And if you really invest those, this money in those three months, then you will probably be able to do that much, much better than if you do everything manually. And last thing that we talked about is we made a calculation of what you will need in order to cover that and how many sales. But most importantly, we talked about the PayPal hold of funds and your need to invest in some working capital. So I guess we're getting here to around, you need in your pocket a good $500 when you are only getting started most of it you can expect to see back in your pocket in three months, but you should have them in your pocket available at least. And you should know that some of them might not go back to your pocket if you don't succeed with that business model, which is fairly easy. So I hope that you will succeed, but you need to understand that this is part of the risk. So I hope that this video has been informative for you and that you do understand now how, how much it really costs to start an eBay dropshipping business. I tried to make it as much as you can, as much educational as possible. I know that some of those numbers might change along the way, but this should give you the big picture of how much it really costs to start using this business model. I hope that you choose to do that with DSM tool, and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.